Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow square A, B, C, D along with this uh, external point uh, P such that uh, this distance uh, D, P is uh, 10 uh, units. The distance uh, P, C is uh, 4 units. And finally, this uh, distance uh, B, P is uh, 8. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that the side length of this uh, square is uh, lowercase a. Since all the sides are uh, same, so therefore all the sides uh, are going to be lowercase a. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square. So therefore the yellow square area is going to be a square since the side length of this yellow square is a. And now our task is to find the value of a square in order to calculate the area of this yellow square. And here's our next step. We are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have created uh, these uh, perpendicular lines CE and uh, EP. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PEC. And let's assume that uh, this uh, side length uh, CE is uh, lowercase b and this uh, PE length is uh, lowercase c and now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle p c whose uh, side lengths are uh, b c and uh, 4 and now we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let's fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula so therefore we are going to have a b square plus uh, c square is going to be equal to 4 square. Let me call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle uh, PED whose uh, side lengths uh, are going to be this uh, length is going to be A plus B. The sum of these uh, two segments. This side length is C and this side length is uh, 10. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have a, a plus b whole uh, square plus uh, c square equals to 10 uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity, a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this binomial on the left hand side. So therefore this could be written as uh, a square plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b square and then plus uh, c square equals to 100. And now let's focus on this uh, b square plus c square. From equation 1 we can see b plus c square equals to 16 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, b square plus c square uh, by 16 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to subtract 16 from both sides this on the left hand side is gone let me go ahead and move this uh, a square to the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to divide both sides by 2a and we can see 2a and 2a is gone so therefore uh, our b value could be written as 84 minus a square all over 2 times a. Let me call this our equation number 2. And here in this next step I have created these perpendicular lines and as a result we got this right triangle PFB. And now let's assume that this segment PF uh, is uh, lowercase b and this segment uh, FC is lowercase uh, c. 
And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, PFB. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And here the side length uh, of this triangle PFB is going to be, this whole side length is going to be A plus C. That is going to give us uh, A plus C. This side length is 8 and this side length is uh, lowercase b. So let's fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So that is going to be a plus c whole square plus b square equals to 8 square. And now let's recall once again this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this left hand side. So therefore this is going to become a square plus 2ac plus c square plus b square equal to 64 and now we can see c square plus b square from equation 1 this is equal to 16 so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 16 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to subtract 16 from both sides so this on the left hand side this is uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with a square plus 2ac equals to 48 let me move this a square to the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step let's divide both sides by 2a this 2a and 2a is gone so therefore c turns out to be equal to 48 minus a square all over 2a let me call this uh, our equation number three and now let's focus once again on this uh, equation uh, one and here I have copied it down b square plus c square equal to 16 and now we can see from equation 2 b equals to this uh, whole thing so therefore I am going to replace uh, this uh, b by this uh, 84 uh, minus uh, a square divided by 2a and likewise for this uh, c we know c equals to 48 minus uh, a square divided by 2a from equation 3. So therefore I'm going to replace this c by 48 uh, minus a square divided by 2a over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this b by this uh, whole thing. Likewise I have substituted uh, this thing uh, for c. And in this uh, next step, I have split uh, these numerators and denominators. And at the denominator 2a whole square is going to give us uh, 4a square and likewise uh, 4a square over here as well. And in this uh, next step, I have wrote down this uh, 4a square as common denominator. And now we are going to multiply both sides by 4a square to remove this uh, fraction. So I'm going to multiply 4a square on the right hand side as well. And here we can see 4a square and this 4a square is gone. So therefore we are ended up with only this uh, numerator over here equals to this when we multiply this thing that's going to give us 64 times a square. And now to make our job easier let me go ahead and make a substitution wherever I see a square a square a square I'm going to replace them by x so therefore I can say that uh, x equals to a square so therefore we are ended up with the 84 minus x whole square plus likewise 48 minus x whole square equal to 64 times x and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on this uh, binomial uh, once again on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step when we open up this uh, 84 minus uh, x whole square we are going to get uh, 7056 uh, minus 168x plus uh, x square and likewise uh, for this uh, 48 minus x whole square is going to give us uh, 2304 minus 96x plus x square equal to 64x on the right hand side. 
And now let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms as you can see over here, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we are going to subtract uh, 64x from both sides. This on the right hand side, they are uh, gone. Now we can see this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. So I am going to divide uh, each uh, and every term uh, by 2 across the board. So therefore we are ended up with the x square minus 164x plus 4680 equal to 0. And now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it for x by using the quadratic formula. And here is the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here we can see our coefficient for x square is 1. So therefore a is going to be 1 our b value is negative 164 and our constant uh, c is 4680. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula x equal to negative and then b is negative 164 plus r uh, minus as you can see in this uh, next step. And now in this uh, next step uh, I have split uh, this 164 divided by 2 over here plus or minus uh, on the numerator square root of uh, 8176 could be written as uh, 4 times square root of uh, 511 and then divided by 2. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x equal to 82 plus or minus uh, 2 times square root of 511. And here let's make an observation we have a uh, two signs positive uh, and uh, negative. And if we use this uh, plus sign only, then uh, this x value is going to be way too much uh, and that is going to be not possible. So therefore, this negative sign is going to be perfectly all right with us. And now let's make an observation. We know our x uh, is uh, equal to a square for substitution. So therefore, I'm going to replace this x by a square over here. And now we can see that uh, this uh, yellow square area is equal to a square and over here we got a square equal to this uh, quantity. So therefore our yellow square area turns out to be 82 minus 2 times square root of uh, 511 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 82 minus 2 times square root of uh, 511 square units. And that could also be written as approximately equal to 36.79 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.